Hi everybody. Today I will show you a contact form 7 multi step form tutorial. So let us begin. All right, to create the multi step form with the help of contact form 7. First of all, what we need to do, we need to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin. Now here we have to install two plugins. So the first one is obviously contact form 7. So as you can see here, I have already installed contact form 7. And after that, we have to install one more plugin, which is ultimate add-ons for contact form 7. Okay, so I have already installed this one as well. So after installing both of the plugins, now what we need to do, we need to go inside the ultimate add-ons and we have to click on all add-ons. And from here, we can simply click on the free here. And from here, you have to search for multi-step form. So as you can see here, we have multi-step form here which I have already enabled from here. So you can simply enable and disable this from here. And after this, what we have to do, we have to go inside our contact form of the contact form 7. So let's click on the contact forms. And from here, you can create a new one. You can use the existing form. So whatever you want. So we're going to go here with the new form. So let's click on add new here. So in the form, what we have to do, first of all, you can scroll down and now you need to enable the multi step from here and also enable the progress bar and if I wanted to disable the progress bar labels I can do this from here but I don't want to hide the progress bar labels okay and after this we have the form styles so unfortunately we can only use the two styles here so we have the default one and we have the style one and all of these other options that we have are actually the part of provision so we can actually use this and after this, we have some customization options for the progress bar styler. So you can see this, we are having the different options here. So we have the height here, we have the color options. After that, we have the size options in which we have the circle width, circle height and circle font size. Okay. And after this, we have the next and the previous button style, but only the two values are actually the part of free version. And other than that, all the values are actually the part of pro version here. Okay. So now we are actually not changing any value here. We're going to go to the top here. And here we have to make our form the multi-step form. Okay, so how can we do this? First of all, I'm going to simply save this. So now let's just, uh, okay, I need to change the name here. This would be multi-step. Click on save. Now let's click on pages here. Click on all pages. And I would actually go here with multi-step form here. So now let's just click on edit. All right, so now let's just paste the short code here. I need to copy the short code again. So let's copy this from here and go back to our edit page. Now we have to paste our short code here. So now let's click on save and click on view page. Now you'll be able to see that we are having our form here which is actually the default form. So now we're going to convert this default form into multi-step form. Okay. So what we need to do, we're going to go back here and here you can see the option of multi-step start and multi-step end. So I'm going to click on multi-step start here. Let's just write down step one, click on insert tag. And now you can see this, we are having this before our uh, label, your name and your email. After the email label, I'm going to click on multi step end here. So how this is working. So if you want to have, let's say your name and your email field into the first step. So for that, what you will actually do, you will actually wrap your labels or your field into these two tags here. So the first tag would be actually your multi step start and the second tag would be your multi step end. So I'm going to simply save this and after this, on the second one, we're going to apply the same approach. So on the second step, I only want to have the label here, which is subject. So what I'm going to do here, first, I'm going to add the multi step here, start here. So this will be step two. I just click on insert tag. And after our labels, since I only want to have the subject into my second step, I'm going to click on multi step and after that. Okay. So now you can see this, we are having our multi-step and after the subjects here. Okay, so now let's click on the save again. And now in the last option, we have this thing. We have our, your message. 
So on the last step, I want to have the two things which will be, so the first thing would be your message and then the submit button. Okay, so I'm gonna simply click on multi-step here. This will be the step three and click on insert tag and I'm gonna write down here the multi-step and after the submit button and this is how it is going to work. So now let's click on save here. All right, so now we have to go back to our page here. Refresh the page. Now you will be able to see that we have converted our default contact form seven into the multi-step form here. Okay, so if I just write down the name here and then I'm gonna write down the email here. I just click on next. So from here, if you want to go back, you can also go back from here, okay? And you can also edit this, but we're gonna simply click on the next here. Now let's just add the subject here. Now let's click on next. And now you can add your message and then you can simply click on your submit button. So this is how you can create multi-step form with the help of contact form seven. All right, so now if I want to customize this, I'm gonna go back here and let's just change the style here. We're gonna go here with the second style. Let's just click on save here. Now let's just refresh this. Now you will be able to see that we are having the second style here. Similarly, if you want to change the color here of the progress bar. So from here, we can also do this. Uh, so let's say that on the circle background, what do we want to have on the circle background color? Let's say it will be the black color. And on our font color, it will be the white color. And now let's just save this. Let's just go back to our multi-step form seven, refresh this. Now you can see this, we are having the black color on the background and white color on the font of our progress bar. So this is how we can create the multi-step form with the help of contact form seven in WordPress. So if you really find this video useful, hit the like button and subscribe the channel.